All right, let's talk about this new Space Force painting, because it very clearly depicts a very realistic depiction of orbital warfare in the not-too-distant future, or maybe even today. And if the idea of a painting sounds kind of crazy to you, you should know that the Department of the Air Force's art collection actually has thousands of paintings like this, depicting past, present, and even future Air Force and now Space Force personnel conducting all sorts of operations. Now this painting, which was done by artist Rick Herter for the Space Force's Space Operations Command, does not depict a spacecraft that is currently in the U.S. arsenal, and they were quick to clarify that in their press release. Instead, they asked Herter to look back at previous programs, like the X-20 Dinosaur that we've discussed a number of times in the past. That was a suborbital hypersonic space bomber that was in development before Sputnik 1 even reached orbit. At one point, Neil Armstrong was even selected to pilot it before he would ultimately leave in favor of NASA, and eventually the entire X-20 program was canceled in order to divert funding toward NASA's Gemini program. But nonetheless, it is clear that there are at least some aspects of the X-20 dinosaur reflected in this artwork, like its delta-shaped wing. But if you ask me, it looks a lot more like a platform the Space Force didn't mention that is currently in operation, despite being shrouded in a great deal of secrecy. And that's the X-37B. Now, we've talked about the X-37B before, and my theory that it's America's most valuable spy satellite. Spy satellites can take up to a decade to get into orbit, and as a result, by the time they get there, they are not carrying the latest and greatest technology. But the X-37B can stay in orbit for years at a time, maneuver using its own thrusters, and come back into land anytime you want to swamp out payloads. You can put the latest sensor technology on board, launch it right back into orbit, and put it back to work, making it a very difficult spy satellite to plan around. In fact, the X-37B's capability set is so promising that China's already hard at work copying it to make their own. Now, this platform in the painting is not the same as the X-37B, but it certainly does bear a resemblance. And the truth is, what we see depicted here may well be in the X-37's skill set. You see, orbital warfare doesn't need to be nearly as dramatic or sexy as we see in the movies. Instead of using phasers or torpedoes, you could literally just grab a satellite with a grabber arm and move it into a degrading orbit so that it burns itself up on re-entry. And in fact, both China and Russia have satellites called inspector satellites in orbit that are designed to do exactly that. Now, this painting shows how a platform like the X-37B could intervene if one of these inspector satellites was going after an American spy, communications, or GPS satellite that's in low Earth orbit. It could effectively combat that inspector satellite in the same way, just by closing with it and grabbing it to move it off course, sending it into a degrading orbit and having it burn up instead. Now, all of this is hypothetical, and at the end of the day, what we're looking at here is just a painting, but it's a painting that reflects a very real possibility, and I don't just mean in the distant future, but I mean this could be happening up there right now. <laughs>